Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video, and today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from January of 2019. Let's start off with books and magazines. I got the 1976 paperback Flash Gordon in the Sand World of Mongo. This is the kind of book that was offered in the little scholastic catalogs we'd get in grade school. And I got the novelization of the 1961 film Judgment at Nuremberg. It includes eight pages of photographs from the movie. And I got a 1990 issue of Marvel's Brute Force. A great thing about these comics is they always seem to have ads for Nintendo games like Bionic Commando and World Championship Wrestling. Let's move on now to the category of miscellaneous. Got a matchbook from the wedding of Elena and Enrique. They'll be celebrating six years soon. If they're still together. I found an old Ames bag. The last time I was in an Ames was 2002, when they all closed. And this little baby was the last thing I bought there. <laughs> I got a Shopkins sticker, West Virginia Mountaineers football ticket stubs from 2011 and 2013, and a ticket stub from the Pittsburgh Water Park Sandcastle. Found this old Coca-Cola advertising tag and some postcards from the Smithsonian National Postal Museum and a few used postcards from the early 90s. The Crescent Hotel is a paradise with palm trees, foliage, and flowers. We were in the hot tub and pool yesterday afternoon. Ooh, how kinky. I also found a little stack of very vintage postcards. Some are from Marineland, Florida. A bathing beauty on the bottom of the Silver Springs making friends with the fish. Oh yeah. And I found three pins, Frylock, the Beatles, and Kurt Cobain. And I'll just take that as a cue to check out my audio scores. I got 39 more CDs. I got a two CD set of themes from James Bond movies and a CD of songs from classic Christmas specials. And CD singles by Whale and by Metallica. And I got David Cross, Bill Cosby, two CDs by Dave Brubeck, two CDs by The Cars, two CDs by The Rolling Stones, two CDs by Madonna, two CDs by Queen, Billy Joel, Hank Williams Jr., The Foundations, Stevie Wonder, Chris DeBerg, John Waite, Elvis Presley, The Band, Neil Young, Yes, The Pretenders, Heart, The B-52s, ACDC, Rob Zombie, Zounds, The Donnas, Cat Power, Matthew Sweet and Susanna Hoffs, Mates of State, Jad Fair and Jason Willett, and Sonic Youth. And I got the audiobook of Go the F*** to Sleep. It's seven minutes long, and of course, read by Samuel L. Jackson. Royal with you. That's right. I got one A-track, Infinity by Journey. And I got a 45 of Jethro Tull's Bungle in the Jungle. This is an upgrade. The one that I bought in the 80s is scratched to hell. And I got 19 cassettes. Some real good ones, including six by Queen. I got their first self-titled album from 1973. Plus, A Day at the Races. Jazz, one of my favorites. Live Killers, A Kind of Magic. And Live at Wembley, 86. And I got three cassettes by Anthrax, a single by Heart, and tapes by Bonham, The Stray Cats, Dirty Looks, Hellcats, Wrecking Crew, Halloween, Megadeth, Man o' War, and Rollins Band. Man, what a great album. That takes me right back to that year when I saw him live, 1988. All right, now we can move on from audio to video. Got some VHS tapes. Really excited I found a copy of the 1978 Mexican horror movie, The Bees. And I got the 70s serial killer movie, Blade. Man, that's some artwork there. On the Vestron label, I got Dirty Dirty Jokes, hosted by Red Fox. You big dummy! And on Charter Entertainment, Make Me an Offer. Ooh. How kinky! And finally I found this 80s tape of the band NRBQ. 
On part of it, they're eating food, and it also has this guy blowing a trombone for a while. Isn't that interesting? Not at all. Well, if that didn't impress you, how about this? I got 146 more DVDs, Blu-rays, and box sets. 11 Blu-rays, Cloverfield, Days of Thunder, Saving Private Ryan, The Negotiator, Man of Steel, Silver Linings Playbook, Orange is the New Black Season 3, A Good Day to Die Hard, and Liam Neeson in Unknown, Non-Stop, and Taken 3. It's unknown why he's making non-stop Taken movies. <laughs> The three box sets that I got are Dallas Season 8, Volume 1 of SCTV, and one of my favorites, Sanford and Son, Season 3. You big dummy! All right, here we go with the 132 DVDs. I got horror movies. The Descent, The Conjuring, The Village, The Cabin in the Woods, House of a Thousand Corpses, In Dreams, Insidious, Twisted, Jaws the Revenge, Mr. Brooks, two different versions of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Human Monster, Interview with a Vampire, The Zombie Diaries, The Exorcist, Scary Movie 4, Tremors 5, One Hour Photo, two different American versions of Godzilla, Jurassic Park, and Scream Park. <coughs> the classics. I got Hitchcock's The Birds, Strangers on a Train in North by Northwest, the Wizard of Oz, Charlie Chan and the Secret Service, The 300 Spartans, Yongari Monster of the Deep, A Town Called Hell and Eagle's Wing, A Bob Hope Bing Crosby Double Feature, Horse Feathers, The Beatniks and Wild Guitar, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, Flipper and Flipper's New Adventure, and Hercules in New York. I'm a cop, you idiot! I'm Detective John Kimball. TV stuff. I got the pilot episode of The Dukes of Hazard, Spin City, Season 1 and Season 5 of Breaking Bad, and Saturday Night Live, the best of Steve Martin. Comedies. More Steve Martin, Sergeant Bilko, Father of the Bride, and The Pink Panther. Slapshot 2, Wayne's World 2, The Dream Team, Groundhog Day, Rushmore, The Grand Budapest Hotel, American Wedding, American Splendor, American Carol, Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay, Scoop, National Lampoon's Gold Diggers, Down to Earth, Zoolander, Waitress, High Fidelity, Jack and Jill, Best in Show, Chasing Amy, and the 10th Anniversary 3-Disc Edition of Clerks. Snoochie Boochies. Snoochie Boochies. Kid Stuff, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Never Ending Story 2, a three-pack of Easter specials, a four-pack of Christmas specials, I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown, and You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. Ugh! Documentaries and music, Pawakatsi, It's All True, The Wall, Live in Berlin, Scorpions, Rock You Like a Hurricane, and six volumes of the Midnight Special, featuring great live performances from a plethora of bands. Dramas, Devil's Advocate, A Few Good Men, the Million Dollar Hotel, The Other Boleyn Girl, The Odyssey, High Noon, Stoned, and The Piano. Foreign films. I got Spetters, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Action movies. I got the Stuntman Limited Edition, number 15,667 out of 100,000. Plus Heat, Charlie's Angels, Miami Vice, The Outsider, Kiss of the Dragon, Unleashed, The Quick and the Dead, Blown Away and the Killer Elite, 3,000 Miles to Graceland, Striking Distance, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, Rambo, Ultraviolet, Tomb Raider, Shoot 'em Up, Kiss the Girls, Beyond the Law, El Mariachi, The Professional, The Mechanic, Revolver, Blitz, Primal Fear, Fantastic Four, The Boondock Saints, and Detonator. And 80s stuff, 
Flashdance, Raging Bull, Rain Man, Mannequin, Flesh and Blood, When Harry Met Sally, Tango and Cash, Nothing But Trouble, The Postman Always Rings Twice, The Man Who Loved Women, Moonstruck, Peggy Sue Got Married, The Terminator, and Red Heat. I'm a cop, you idiot! I'm Detective John Kimball. Phew! Now we can finally move on to the last category, Toys and Games. I got some video games. For the Wii, I got Wii Music, Samba de Amigo, Link's Crossbow Training, Chicken Blaster, Boogie, Boogie Superstar, Rock and Roll Adventures, Mercury Meltdown Revolution, Dave Mira BMX Challenge, Circus Star, Hannah Montana the Movie, Wii Ski, Sean White Snowboarding World Stage, Sean White Snowboarding Road Trip, Jillian Michaels Fitness Ultimatum 2009, Wii Fit Plus, Active 2 Personal Trainer, Deer Drive, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Big Brain Academy Wii Degree, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, The Last Airbender, Mario Kart Wii, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Ben 10 Omniverse 1 and 2. For the DS, I got Monster House, My Fun Facts Coach, Juju Pets 2, and World Championship Darts. And for Xbox 360, I got Hulk Hogan's Main Event. For PS3, I got Infamous, Brink, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and Power Gig Rise of the Six String. For PS2, I got Crazy Taxi, Burnout Revenge, Lord of the Rings The Two Towers, Sockham U.S. Navy Seals, and Spartan Total Warrior. For PSP, I got Thrillville Off the Rails. And for the PlayStation, I got Croc Legend of the Gobos, A Bug's Life, Too Extreme, Ready to Rumble Boxing, Bowling, Tetris Plus, Activision Classics, and Pitfall 3D Beyond the Jungle. I also got this cool little Scrabble Flash electronic game. It gives you five letters, and you have only a short time to make a word out of them. And I got a 1999 Pokemon Lenticular card, four Pokemon gaming cards, a Magic card, 72 Yu Yu Hakusho cards, and this cool girl Pog. That is wild. And I got this 10th anniversary die cast race car that came free from Bear. That's rare. As usual, I got a bunch of small toys and figures. Nine Mighty Beans, a really strange homie, a couple little robots, six Fisher Price little people, and a 1989 pirate parrot. You're out! I got some Star Wars figures, an Emperor and an Anakin, two different Darth Mauls, and a Galactic Heroes C-3PO and Bosk. Plus I got this cheap Greenbrier International Clear Ninja, and this extremely happy guy. <laughs> and now it's time for the find of the month. These mini monster figurines were made by the Marx Company in the 60s and given away with Frito-Lay chips. There's a witch, a devil, a monster, a phantom, a mummy, a reaper, a skeleton, and an executioner. Super cool. I got everything that you saw in this video for about $35. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift store haul from January of 2019. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.